From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. All right, tell me, how does this sound? This is a brand new microphone in the booth today, another DIY job right off the bat. So what I've done here is this is an 87 style microphone, but it's tuned actually a little bit, uh, a little bit leaner and brighter. Um, and that is a function actually of the head basket. We'll talk about that in a moment. But it has a Danny Bouchard D87 circuit in it and a brand new Arian Audio K87 capsule. Now I, I featured the K47, the flat 47, um, on this channel a, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, not that long ago. Man, time flies. And uh, man, what a great capsule. But this one, this one really, really caught my attention. Because one of the big problems with uh, K87 capsules for the DIY market is a lot of them don't really have that, that Neumann purr right down the middle. And this one does. So here, hold on. Let me show you this capsule. This is pretty neat. Hold on. Let's just, let's just run some copy through it real quick. Now, here we go. Take your game to the next level with stairs. If you feel like you're stuck, <laughs> if you feel like you're stuck on the ground floor, pick up that game and do what countless people do every day. Walk up the stairs. Playing your game on the second floor will make you feel like you're no longer in the basement. So stop being one of those folks stuck on the ground. Check out stairs everywhere or let us come to you for a free in-home estimate. Yeah. That has a sound, man. I really, I really like this a lot. So, um, let's show you this capsule. Let's do this. This is pretty neat. So, check that out. Um, the Arian Audio K87. So, she engineered this thing. And uh, Ari at Arian Audio engineered, engineered this thing. It's amazing. Now, look how beautiful this capsule is. I love this. This is really neat looking. It's beautiful. And... Every one, every single capsule has its own serial number on it. <laughs> How great is that? It's a great looking capsule. Check this out. This is a, this is a CAD rendering of the capsule exploded. So here's, here you get to see actually what makes this thing up. So this, of course, like the backplate, the way the backplate is created, the way it's drilled, the size of the holes, the consistency of them, you know, these all and the distance between the two backplates. You know, these things are, are very pivotal in how you make a capsule sound. So hats off to Ari at Ariane Audio because this capsule really does sound great. Um, I'm deeply impressed. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I would have to say, since we've been talking about DIY capsules, if you, if you want something, this, this is probably the most Neumann-y <laughs> of the Neumann-like capsules that I've heard. Check this out. Here's a graph right? This shows you how closely matched it is to a, let me, let me expand this. I want you to see this. I'm just going to drag this open. Look at that. So look at that. That is how closely matched it is. Oops. With a, uh, with an actual Neumann K87. Look at that dead on. That is beautiful. So I really, I do. I really like this a lot. Let's get rid of this. So, okay. What what else did I do here? So the other thing that I did, um, because I have, I already have a, I have another D87, the secret weapon that you've seen on this channel. And, um, what I did was I've had this body, this mic body for a long time because I was like, oh, it's, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't seem right. The head basket is a little tall, right? It's actually, it's probably about, uh, eh, I would say 10 millimeters, maybe about a centimeter taller than a uh, head basket I have on the secret weapon. And I'd put, a, I'd, I'd put together like a microphone in this body before, and it just seemed like it was, uh, it didn't seem right. It seemed a little airy. And that could also be a factor of the head basket only being two layers of mesh and not three layers. And it makes a difference. But this taller head basket, I was like, I don't know. There's something going on with it. But after all the experimentation we did with head baskets, with the sphere, it got me thinking that the head basket volume is also very pivotal in, in really determining the resonance of the inside of the head basket, the acoustics inside the head basket. And a chiseled head basket like this, you know, like Neumann 87 style, um, 
what this does is it actually it actually um, is a little slimmer in the in the lows and mids a little bit. And so I thought, you know what? But it might be neat to take this circuit and try to lean it <laughs> towards a little bit of a more of a, a detailed, um, just a, just a, a, how do I say it? A more defined mid, right? Going into the highs. And I thought maybe this might do the trick. And I think it has. I actually think that my half-assed uh, uh, calculation of uh, how, this would, um, how this would work acoustically uh, may have been fairly close. So check this out. So one thing that really with the head basket, right, the, the double layer mesh of this does not have the, the same, uh, how, do we, how do we call it, uh, acoustical energy containment as a triple layer mesh, right? There's less to, there, there is, in a triple layer mesh, obviously there's more material to keep the, you know, the audio bouncing around inside, even though it is mesh, right? So you take out one layer of mesh and you have less, uh, less of that. So it has a more open top to it to begin with. But if I put one of these on there, right? One of these little foam things, little Cossack hat, and I slip that on there. Right, so you get a little bit more of that back. You get a little bit more of that lower mid back because you're not um, you're not letting it all dissipate through the uh, through the double layer mesh. Some of it is actually just kind of uh, it's 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 still rebounding in at a lower volume because it's foam, but um, here it is again, and it's it's definitely a little bit more open on the top. So again, open on the top. Here we go. Take your game to the next level with stairs. Take your game to the next level with stairs. So either way, you know, it uh, it works. And um, so I, I think I I think I like it. I think I like it. Um, but I need to know your opinion. Is it too is it too lean in the mids? Um, or is it just right? I think it might I think it might work well to cut through stuff, but uh, I gotta I gotta have your ears on this. So I need your opinion. All right, everybody, nation, chime in on this, please. And we need a name for this microphone. I don't know what it is yet. Leave a comment. All right, till next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Namkov, Fading to Black.